This is Mike Crombie. No, Douglas. Actually. This is Mike Douglas. <laughs> shows and storytelling stand-up style with original music and dancing um, in between. Right now I've got a one-woman show about uh, body image and self-esteem that I call my selfie and I go through all these stories about my body parts and uh, just do a little bit of shenanigans on stage. There's a workshop involved as well just trying to spread empowerment through the world. write in different environments. Sometimes ideas will spark regardless of where I am. It could be happening right now on this mat couch. Um, and I'll just drop down like a lyric or an idea or a theme for a song. And then depending on if it's just a isolated song that I'm just going to throw into my life, I'll just let it go with whatever. Sometimes I'll sit down on my own, on my computer, I write all my music on GarageBand because they ought to play an instrument. So oftentimes it's just on my own. I like that environment because I do get distracted by people around me sometimes, so that's entirely kind of where I do it. My work has really evolved to have different layers of meaning in the lyrics and the content that I write, as opposed to just something flippant and comedic. There's more of a layers and like a video that will be involved or a story that's attached to it. So it's not always um, bits of art in isolation. They really become a cohesive, um, bigger project. I'm not inspired by anything in particular as much as anything that happens around me. I'm constantly processing the world and the relationships that I see in the world and that I'm involved with, things that are happening in the world, um, emotions. Um, and there's always a part of me that needs to process it and express it for myself and for others. So it's just kind of a constant state of inspiration that I'm always in. My goal uh, professionally is to empower others to get inspired and be creative and to go toward their dreams, to make people laugh and to think, to take everyday situations and kind of turn them on the edge and just, you know, have a new perspective for myself and others around me. best piece of advice is listen to what's happening inside, that little voice that tells you it wants to say something, it wants to say something in a particular way, it wants to do something, act on something, do it. Regardless of the voices that are happening outside, the most important voice is the one that's coming from inside. And really heed it, listen. Listen to what it's saying. Um, but be careful of that nasty voice, the inner judge voice. We can have multiple voices in there. But there's this nice one that when you hear it and you hear what it says, it resonates with you to the core and you know that that is the true you. Listen to that one. This video is from my live performance of my selfie and it is wherein I appreciate my internal organs. It's a song that I wrote for my innards and I call it my innards. Long as you take a breath, inflate my cells with life, raise a galactic gas, and think whisper when the time's right. Diaphragm projects it all, so my message lands with resonance. Stomach, bag, intestine, me love you long, long time. You consume cookie cravings of mine, kidney, colon, spleen, praise grossly undelivered. Ureter, myeter, 50 ways to love your liver. Internal wars, magicians within. You are my inner, it's linked to my limbs. It's not lost on me, there's no me without you. Internal warriors, magicians within. Without you, I'm sure to implode. <laughs> Contract a core, you hold me when I whine. Blood, I'm 
Thank you. Thank you so much. 